Tonight, former Samburu governor Moses Lenol Kulal is staring at a jail term of 10 years after being convicted of corruptly receiving more than 83 million shillings. Additionally, Lenol Kulal will not be eligible for appointment or election to public office for the next 10 years thanks to Section 64 of the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act. And as Nginari Kirori now reports, the former governor and his co-accused will spend the night in remand pending their sentencing Thursday after their request for bail was denied. The, the genesis of the case against the former governor of Samburu, Moses Kasaine Lenol Kulai, dates back to 2013, shortly after the 2013 elections, when Lenol Kulai was announced as a governor-elect. <coughs> it is during the financial years of 2013 and 2014 that the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, EACC, claims Lenol Kulai received 80,763,700 and 15 shillings through his registered business under the name Oryx Service Station. Court documents indicate that the graft went on unabated until 2018. Today, Lenol Kulai sat in the dock alongside his co-accused from morning until 1.13 p.m. when Chief Magistrate Thomas Ndioki gave his final decision. The foregoing evaluation of the evidence leads to an the inevitable conclusion that there is overwhelming and direct evidence that the governor acted in conflict of interest and acquired direct personal benefits in the contract for supply of fuel. It sends a message to all public officers, both at the national and the county governments, that there are consequences when one betrays public trust. The court held that the prosecution had proven the charges beyond reasonable doubt. The charges against 11 accused persons read as follows. The former Samburu governor Moses Lenol Kulai has been charged with conflict of interest contrary to Section 43.3 as read with Section 48.1 of the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act. The former governor was also charged with unlawful acquisition of public property, contrary to Section 45.1a, as read with Section 48.1 of the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act. He was charged alongside Hezbon Washira, a businessman who has been found guilty of unlawful acquisition of public property, contrary to Section 45.1a, as read with Section 48.1 of the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act. The other accused persons, Daniel Lenol Kilna, Stephen Letinina, Josephine Lenasalia, Ruben Lemunyete, Linas Lenolngenje, Paul Lolmingani, Bernard Lesurmat, and Lilian Balanga were found guilty of abuse of office contrary to Section 42.3 as well as Section 48.1 of the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act. The former governor was found not guilty of the charge of abuse of office. The defense had requested the court to allow the former governor to be released on bail pending the sentencing, a request that was denied by Chief Magistrate Nzioki, instead directing that the convicted persons be held at industrial area remand prison. It is important to remember that the conflict of interest is the bedrock of most of the mega corruption scandals that the country is grappling with. Uh, ESCC sends a warning to public officials that are engaging in a conflict of interest at the county government and the national government to know that their day in court will come. According to the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act, Lenol Kulai will be required to pay double the amount he received or be imprisoned for a term not exceeding 10 years. Additionally, the former governor will be barred from being elected or appointed to public office for a period of 10 years. The graft case against the former Samburu governor becomes the first corruption case of a criminal nature to come to a logical conclusion. The sentencing against the former governor as well as the accused persons will take place tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. here at the Milimani Law Courts. Ngena Kirori, NTV, Nairobi.